The 2018.2 IntelliJ Ideas Scala plugin has a number of improvements to make it easier to work with Scala code. Firstly, you'll notice that the paradigm for implicits has changed. IntelliJ IDEA no longer underlines things like implicit conversions, as it was easy to confuse this with an error and could be noisy with longer sections of code. Instead, it's possible to show implicit hints, which makes it clearer that this example is calling the method string to int. If you want to make the code more explicit without requiring the IDE hints, you can right-click on the implicit conversion method hint and select Make Conversion Explicit, or press Alt and Enter and choose the option to make it explicit. Implicit hints show information about implicit conversions and arguments in the editor alongside the code. Adding an implicit parameter to this method and an implicit value demonstrates this. Let's switch to another example to look at implicit parameters in more detail. Here you can see default age is being used as the implicit argument to the Greek method. If an explicit argument is being used for an implicit parameter, this is shown with the explicitly prefix. If you bring up parameter info with Control p or Command p you'll see it's been updated to show all the parameter lists, including the implicit parameters. Pressing Control or Command and hovering with the mouse over the implicit argument gives more details. And Control or Command clicking will navigate to the declaration of the value being used. You may wish to quickly turn hints on and off, depending on whether you're trying to understand the code or minimize the noise. If hints are enabled, you can turn them off by right-clicking and deselecting Show Implicit Hints. The keyboard shortcut to turn implicit hints on is Control, Alt, Shift, and Plus. Let's turn off the hints for now using Control, Alt, Shift, and Minus and look at some more features. If you're missing an implicit argument, IntelliJ IDEA will show an error. Clicking on the ellipsis shows more details. Pressing Escape will collapse it back down to the ellipsis. Similarly, if there are too many matching arguments, when implicit hints are enabled, you'll see an error about ambiguous implicit arguments. Again, this can be expanded, or you can use Escape to close the expansion. These warnings make it easier to locate the issue and fix the problem. The implicit hints are particularly useful for more complex scenarios. If we right-click and select Expand Implicit Hints, we can see the value of type A that's used here comes from A from B, with the result of B from C, with the value sum C. If we remove the sum C value, we see an error in the call to materialize B. The hints show the source of the problem is our missing C value. If we have two values of type C instead, we see the problem is an ambiguous argument of type C. You can see how the implicit hints can help you to track down and fix difficult to spot errors. If you do want to go back to the old way of showing underlines for implicit conversions, you can go to Settings, Languages, Scala, and tick Highlight Implicit Conversions to show underlines in the code. The next feature that the 2018.2 Scala plugin adds is better auto-completion for pattern matching. If you're using a sealed type with inheritors, Java enums, or Scala enumerations, it's possible to generate an exhaustive match for all possibilities, making it easier to consider and cater for each potential value. Suggestions for auto-completion for pattern matching has also been improved. In a match expression, auto-completion suggests a list of typed patterns for applicable classes and interfaces. 2018.2 has a few new options that apply to Scala code. In Settings or Preferences, under Editor Code Style Scala, it's now possible to select Scala FMT as the formatter. There aren't as many options to set in the preferences since this uses a conf file to store the settings. IntelliJ IDEA will suggest using Scala FMT as the active formatter if you have a scalafmt.conf file in your project, but you can also select a file with a different name if necessary. Sometimes Scala FMT can't format invalid code. If you want to be informed of these issues, tick the Show Warnings when trying to format invalid code checkbox. It's also possible to tell IntelliJ IDEA to format the code when it's compiled. This has the advantage of making sure the code is always formatted according to standards. This setting is available under the Other tab for both Scala FMT and the IntelliJ IDEA formatter. Let's switch to more complex real-life code to show the last feature. In Preferences or Settings, Editor Color Scheme Scala contains all the settings for changing and tweaking exactly how the editor colors the code. The 2018.2 plugin adds semantic highlighting for Scala. When this is turned on, 
All the parameters and variables are shown in different colors. This means you can see at a glance where an individual variable is being used in a function without having to click on it or highlight it. Those are the key features for the Scala plugin for IntelliJ IDEA 2018.2. Thanks for watching.